Congratulations, you are still world champion. How's it feel? Thank you, brother. So, yeah, it's been uh, one year and eight months, been a long layoff, but it's amazing to be back here. And it's a very amazing feeling to get the win and finish. You just established yourself, established yourself as the dominant strawweight world champion. Who's next for you? Um, well, for me, I'm going back home, take a rest and train after two weeks. And what's next for me? I think uh, for one championship, will um, the rank number two, uh, you should. Uh, Naito versus Bokang or Naito versus me for a trilogy again. That's what, that would be great. Those are all very intriguing matchups. Joshua, we now have questions from the media. This first one goes to South China Morning Post MMA, Nick Atkin. Nick, please go ahead. Hey, Joshua. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Incredible performance. Thank you, bro. Um, I, I just wanted to ask did you imagine it would finish that quickly? Uh, I think after the two wars you guys had before, I think I was expecting, you know, a long fight again, but uh, over in the first round. Um, you know, for me, every fight, I expect to go five rounds or three rounds, you know, and I, I didn't expect that uh, very fast finish, you know, um, but I'm shocked that he... He was like kicking me or uh, he's striking with me. So uh, he's striking and, you know, this is my bread and butter. This is my world. So, yeah, okay, let's bring it on. <laughs> and it's, you know, it was a very, very shocking card. Uh, I just have to get your thoughts. I don't know if you saw that main event. Uh, what did you think of, of Christian Lee against Oak? Do you know, a lot of people think Christian won that fight. Do you have an opinion on that? Uh, for me, if you go to the one championship rules, the, the, the fight is very close, you know? But for me, I have Christian Lee edging out for this one uh, via split decision. So I think uh, for me, Christian Lee won the fight. And like you said, you have been gone for... 20 months must have been so good to be back after one year and eight months uh you want to get back in there sooner uh how long do you want to wait uh man it depends you know to one championship for me my job is to stay ready my job is to level up every day and when one championship calls i'll be ready all right man thank you so much great win yeah, it was awesome to see thank you thank you our next question goes to Nisi Icasiano of IB Times. Nisi, the floor is yours. Good morning, Josh. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to English and what I do. We have to speak in English. Anyway, okay. Josh, uh, you've been out for 20 months and this fight got rescheduled once or twice. And you also got injured. You also contracted COVID. How fulfilling is it? to get this victory and plus plus also the factor that you didn't get an opponent who is a tune-up opponent for this fight um for me it's very very satisfying you know to uh, there's a lot of challenges last year pandemic lockdowns i got injured and earlier this year i got this covid 19 like I was locked down for four to five weeks, very hard. And recovering from that sickness, very hard. You know, just, I just thank God for everything, for his blessings. And I'm here 100% healthy. And yeah, thank you. We got the win. Yes. Anyway, congratulations. Savor it, brother. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We're going to move on to the next question. This one will be from Leon Jennings of Asian Persuasion MMA. Hey, Joshua, congratulations. 
Hello, brother. How are you? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> good. Good, good. Obviously, Team Nakai has been one of the best gyms in the world for a long time, but now we've got there's a lot of young blood and you're kind of leading that charge. How exciting is it to see the young guns coming through Team Lakai? Oh, like I'm very, very excited, man. You, know, uh, you just watch me. And if you watch them and they're more stronger, they're more powerful, they're more faster than me. If you expect that, you know, to the next generation of uh, Team Lakai fighters. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited for them. One of you guys, Lito, obviously had a good win tonight. Um, he also took quite a few low blows. Just wondering, um, how's he doing now? It's good. It's taking a rest, but I think he's hurt. <laughs> he can't walk properly because ah, that was like, I think, four to five times growing yeah. shot. So, man, that hurts. <laughs> no, he's, yeah, he's resting. He's, uh, he's good now. And, yeah. Well, that's what's going to be. What's, what's going to be? How, how are the two of you going to celebrate? But maybe Lito might, might not be able to celebrate with you if he's uh, struggling a little bit. Uh, it's hard to celebrate right now because of this, of our situation. But no, we can't. Uh, we can't wait to go home wait to get back to our families and celebrate with them. Brilliant. Congratulations again. Great performance. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Leon. Our next question will be from Denison Dalupang of Inquirer. Denison, the floor is yours. Hi, Joshua. Hello, um, yeah. Good morning. Um, congratulations, Kapsat. Um, thank you, thank you. I'm going to speak in English because it's required. Um, anyway, um, from that young kid in Myanmar back in 2016, um, you're very shy and now you're very assertive. Um, a lot of growing up has happened to you. But um, what would you say, Yung, the biggest part of you that has grown um, in this journey of you being a champion? Um, there's a lot you know, uh, in confidence, in attitude, in um, in my skills. There's there's a lot, but you know I'm still 25 years old. I have a long way to go, and I will just keep getting better and better every single day. That's my goal to level up at least one percent every day. And I think uh, I have more to show this uh this coming uh you know in the future in my future fights and um you mentioned earlier that um if possible um another shot um against naito the very first guy you um challenged um in your one career so what can you say about um that possibility I it's good you know because this these guys are in here in the division long time and they're fighting and he is the number two contender in my uh my division so he deserve it and if not you know maybe naito and bokang will fight and whoever wins gets the title shot thank you joshua Giamanak. thank you brother Our next question will go to Jack Gotso of Topsoft Sports. Jack, please go ahead. Congratulations, Joshua, on the uh, the victory and in, in defending that belt. Uh, now, trilogy fights they they affect your legacy. Uh, you got one tonight. You're you're hoping to get another one back in possibly your next fight. You're only 25 years old. Uh, what do you think about your legacy and how you're building it? And, and do you hope to become maybe even the Manny Pacquiao of uh, MMA? Oh, that would be great. Yeah. You know, no, I, I would just want to prove that, you know, a lot of um, people saying that uh, trilogy fights is a curse to Team Lakai. So I don't believe that, you know, uh, I broke that saying tonight and I want to do it again, uh, if possible, a trilogy with Naito. 
And uh, everyone's talking about possibly moving, you know, some cards to the U.S. Or, or Europe and other places. But what would it mean to you to possibly defend your belt in the Philippines? Oh, wow, well, that would be great. Uh, I miss, you know, I miss uh, fighting in front of my uh, um, Kababayans in my hometown. And um, hopefully the situation will be uh good and hopefully one championship will get back to the philippines and i could defend my title there thank you so much and congratulations again thank you sir this next question comes from james stephen james irvine of mma radio Hey Joshua, congratulations on the victory, another solid performance. Now, I just want to ask, so you're now 2-1 to one against Saruta. Now you've both got title wins over each other and you've both become a big part in each other's history. So how does it feel now to possibly close that chapter on your journey once and for all? Because it isn't very likely that you're going to be fighting again. So how do you feel looking back on that? Oh, it's very very satisfying very I'm very very happy you know for the result to get the big win and to close the chapter between me and Saruta but we never know when we close uh, uh, cross paths again in the future so yeah it's just amazing yeah keep doing what you do it's very exciting thank you Our next question will go to Ivan Stewart of Dugout Philippines. Ivan, please proceed. Ivan, are you with us? Uh, hello, Paul. Uh, I'm Ivan Singo from the Daily Tribune. Uh, congratulations, uh, Joshua, uh, Thank you. for the win. Uh, first off, uh, during that fight with uh, uh, Saruta, when did you, uh, let's see, when have you, when was that moment where you felt that it's the, it's the perfect opportunity for the, for the rampage? Oh, when the four, when I caught that, you know, uh, leg kick and I caught him in a right straight or overhand, so, uh, I felt that my two knuckles you know landed in his chin so i followed up followed it up and uh, yeah that's the time i failed and i got the finish great uh, for your uh, for your for your possible next fight uh coming up from this from this trilogy uh what can we expect for that we can see more from you uh, in the in upcoming fights, I'm expect that you know uh, still a more improved Joshua Pasho. You know, um, I feel that I I have a, I have a lot more to offer, and uh, you will see that in my future fights. All right, salamat and Thank you, brother. Joshua, we've got two more before we let you go. Okay. This next one is from Kevin Estrada of Burn Sports Philippines. Magandang uh, good evening, Campion. Good evening. Uh, uh, Josh, you said last week about this will be at par with Rene and Alex as your toughest title defenses, and now you have hurdled it. It had it had been so quick. It had been, it, we were surprised that it was so quick. It's just, it's just the, the game plan worked to your perfection. You felt, you put, you put him into a trap wherein he cannot escape. We did not see his takedowns in the entire match. How do you took, how do you take, how do you took his ground game away? Like for us, you know, that that is hard work. 
ano, coach Mark said to me, you have uh, more tools than him. You know, I, I got to strike and I can wrestle now, not just defense, but offense. So if I go to standing, I want to go to the standing. Then we'll do it. Just uh, try to take me down and I will I will wrestle with you. So um, I have answers in all his attacks and uh, it happens that he fight with me with my bread and butter, the striking and yeah, get the win. And you see you and you see you fought so confident that you even you even said that you you had to put up a chunk of your build up in recovering and that is a scary thought what more if Joshua Pasha didn't have that covid how dangerous was he on that night um oh, things happen you know, um, this i think for me this covid make me tough tougher than ever and uh, it was hard like four to five weeks uh, but you know we survived we we're, we we are a fighter not just in a circle but in real life so you know i am tough and um i have a i have a world champion mindset in me so that's why i'm a world champion now thanks joshua thanks Johnny. You're welcome. Thank you, Joshua, for your time. Congratulations on your victory again. We look forward to see you back in one circle, brother. Thank you, Jenny.